Hi world, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? Grab a snack, grab a chip, grab a cookie, grab your favorite smoking device because today we're going to be diving into my favorite room of the house now. It is my studio slash office. I'll be doing all of my editing and a lot of my recording in this room, so I'll be spending at least 40 hours a week in this. With this being said, y'all, let's dive in. Let's go see what it looks like. Let's try it. This is my thinking chair. I don't know if you guys remember Blue's Clues, but Blue's Clues had a thinking chair, and this is my thinking chair. Okay, hi. Now that you have seen my studio, where I'll be spending about 40 hours a week editing and posting so videos. Do I want to like Postmate? Or do I want to go to the fucking grocery store and eat something from my house? So I'm going to run to the local grocery store and grab the best cut of steak that I could possibly find. I love steak so much. I love cheesy baked potatoes with butter and sour cream. I love chicken, but tonight we're doing steak. Oh my god, it's going to be so freaking good. So Sister Wives came on last night. Well, it wasn't the full episode, okay? It was a first look, so it was 16 minutes long. It showed some of the, it showed some of the new houses. It showed Mary Brown's house. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It showed Janelle's house. I love it as well. They're very small compared to what they're used to living in, but that's okay. The kids are getting older, everyone's going off to college. Um, I'm very excited to see that the children are very happy about their rooms and moving to Flagstaff. Now, controversy is that a lot of the Flagstaff people, the neighbors that live directly around the Browns, you know, they're spread out through the city, all of the neighbors hate the Browns. They have not been welcomed. And the entire time, Cody has said over and over and over and over how much that they are going to love living in Flagstaff. And so far, every family member has hated it except for uh, Christine Brown. But you know, she has an amazing life. She has a big house with multiple children. She lives on acres and acres of land. Now their property, the Coyote Pass property that they purchased in Flagstaff is absolutely gorgeous. It has a pond, it has um, uh, They did mention last night that it rains there constantly compared to Nevada where they moved from. They said they love Las Vegas. They said that they didn't really like the rain. Um, the kids seemed to like it. So that's a win. Um, it looks like all the college students, the college kids, they're all going to continue going to college, and it looks like everyone's going to be moving from Flagstaff, like no one's going to continue to live in Flagstaff. Now, Cody put up a, what do you call it, a demonstration last night on the first look of the gigantic house of four kitchens, or five kitchens, 23 bathrooms, 17 bedrooms, uh, four different apartments in this huge house with, but Christine, she had made it clear in the first look that she will not do a big house, that she doesn't want it, that she is not going to live in another house with any of the sister wives. I read something recently on Radar Online that Mary Brown and Cody Brown are calling it quits. Cody asked Mary to leave. 
I don't know how true that is. Um, I do believe everything that comes out of Radar Online because it is a source from someone. Now, do I believe that it's actually happening? I don't know. But it is a source from Mary and from Cody stating that they were no longer going to be living in the Flagstaff home together and that he wanted a divorce from her. He wants to split it. I get why he would want to split because, you know, she went through this huge catfishing scenario and on the last three seasons, all she talks about is how unhappy she is. So it's like, this season, she's still talking about how unhappy is. She, she needs to, like, just break off. She needs to go and do her own thing and still keep in touch with all of the kids. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It, the sun must be going down. Ugh. When we get home, we're going to drop these steaks into the crock pot and bitch. They're going to smell so good. I'm going to put a garlic butter on the base of the steak, and then I'm going to put some steak seasoning and some Cajun seasoning. I don't care if that's how you like it or not. If you don't like it that way, I'm sorry. That's how I'm going to cook it. It's going to go inside the crock pot that way. It's going to cook for like three hours straight. And then when I pull it out, oh my God, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Y'all enjoy. First, what I do is I grab my crock pot. I go ahead and set up my butters. I got a regular butter, a garlic butter. I get my steak out. Go ahead and get it ready. Get my peppercorn medley grinder out. Get my steak seasoning out. Open this bad boy up. Okay, so you take that like that. And you take your steak. And I don't even smooth it in there. I just like put it in there. And I don't put steak seasoning in the bottom. And the reason I don't do that is because um, I'm going to flip them. And when I flip them, I'll put the seasoning on there. Then I take my garlic butter and I just put it on there like so. Now that I do smooth out. You don't have to dirty anything up. You can just smooth it out with your butter bowl or whatever you use. There's no reason to dirty dishes if you don't have to. So if you don't need a paintbrush, don't use one. I hate dishes, but if you're love dishes and you might want to do that so this is a prime cut of steak god that looks disgusting okay so then you go ahead and take your steak seasoning and do it real good because it's going to be cooking for hours so you want all that flavor to get up in there so i'm going to do this off camera it's the peppercorn and the reason i'm doing it off camera is because i can't hold the phone and that and then that's it voila you go ahead and put this bad boy back on there you put your butter sauce on the side because you're going to use it later 